Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we dive into the Climate Change Emissions Management Corporation, or CCEMC, and find out how this Alberta-based green technology fund is doing. The CCEMC raises money through an Alberta carbon levy on large emitters. It invests in projects that reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It's been going since 2009. We've uh, currently got about 51 projects across the spectrum in terms of different types of projects. Uh, we've invested uh, $212 million. Um, through the grant agreement process, we've actually collected $380 million. When you hear the Alberta government talk about its carbon tax, this is what they're talking about. The fund collects money from big emitters, but only on a small proportion of the actual carbon emissions. David Lewin explains how the CCEMC decides on what to invest in. Well, one of the guidance from the province <clears throat> is that um, we uh, uh, are uh, expected to allocate our funds to um, areas such as energy efficiency, to uh, green technologies, uh, projects which use uh, um, different fuels and different sources of, of energy. Um, we invest a small amount into um, carbon capture and storage. We're not uh, investing in the major carbon capture and storage projects. So far, the CCEMC has invested $98 million in renewable energy, $55 million in greening fossil fuels, $39 million in energy efficiency, and $21 million in carbon capture and storage. Of the $212 million, just under two-thirds of that money has gone to renewable energy and energy efficiency projects like this. One of the interesting projects that we have is uh, what's called, called the uh, um, Growing Power Hairy Hills project. Um, this is where we take, uh, or the, the proponent takes animal waste and, and converts that into uh, three things, into fertilizer, um, into uh, green power for his, for his operations, and um, into ethanol. They also supported a 300 megawatt wind project named Black Spring Ridge, which is using some innovative technology. One where they have, they're using a specific turbine on the wind that can uh, process electricity, generate uh, power in a very low wind area. Alberta is well known for its wind resources and, and most of our uh, wind energy right now is uh, being produced out of those very high wind areas. So if this technology proves successful and we're confident that it will, uh, it will open up the uh, marketplace for much more wind development. The CCMC has invested in Landmark Homes, a company that we have featured before on Green Energy Futures. They're the Edmonton-based home builder with a house factory that uses robots to build ultra-efficient new homes that Landmark says will be net zero ready by 2015. Very impressive target. We're glad that they've pledged that. We're supportive of them in, in their efforts. And what we really like about this project is not only what we're able to accomplish with Landmark, but more particularly the market potential that exists as more and more homes are being developed here in Alberta. Those are just three of the 51 projects approved by the CCEMC. On the emissions side, the lion's share of reductions will have come from renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. In total, the CCEMC will save Alberta 10.2 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions by 2020. That's 20% of Alberta's 2020 greenhouse gas target. On average, for every dollar that uh, we spend, we get a, a leverage of about five. And in total, we have about $1.3 billion worth of R&D and development projects uh, in the works today. Almost half of the total investment and emissions reductions come from the 300 megawatt Black Spring Ridge wind project. Renewable energy can deliver investment and emissions reductions. Alberta is working on a new climate change strategy. The question is whether we'll see investment in clean energy that racks up big emission reductions or not. Check out our blog and the CCEMC website for details on all of the renewable energy and energy efficiency projects being supported by the CCEMC. We've also got photos, a podcast, and many other stories at greenenergyfutures.com.
www.dodgeforgreenenergy.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.